Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to crochet a circle bag using front post double crochet and double crochet stitches. The materials record are 4 play acrylic yarn, 100 grams, 4 mm crochet hook, stitch marker, scissors and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a magic circle. After completing the magic circle, walk chain 2. This chain 2 won't consider as our first double crochet. Now we are going to work 12 double crochet inside the magic circle. After completing the first double crochet, place marker in top of the double crochet. Now continue working 11 more double crochet into the magic circle. Now we have completed working our 12 double crochet into the magic circle. Pull the yarn to close the circle. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Now we have completed our round 1. For the round 2 we are going to work a chain 2. This chain 2 does not consider as our first double crochet. Into the same stitch work 1 double crochet and place marker in top of the double crochet. After placing the marker, we are going to skip the chain 2 of the previous round and going to work 1 front post double crochet into the very first double crochet. So we are going to skip the chain 2 and going to work 1 front post double crochet into the double crochet. Into the next stitch we are going to work one double crochet that is into the next chain we are going to work one double crochet and into the next DC below we are going to work one front post double crochet. Like this continue working one double crochet into the chain and one front post double crochet into the double crochet of previous round. Continue working the same pattern throughout the round 2. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 2. Now we are in the end of the round 2. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round, again we are going to work a chain 2. This chain 2 won't consider as our double crochet. Into the same chain space we are going to work an increase. So work 2 double crochet into the same chain. After completing the double crochet we are going to work 1 front post double crochet on front post double crochet. So work 1 front post double crochet into the front post double crochet. Place marker in top of the first double crochet. Now into the next stitch we are going to work an increase so work 2 double crochet and again we are going to work 1 front post double crochet on front post double crochet that is into the previous round front post double crochet we are going to work an front post double crochet. Into the next stitch again we are going to work an increase that is 2 double crochet. And into the front post double crochet of the previous round, we are going to work one front post double crochet. So continue the same pattern throughout the round 3. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 3. Now we are in the end of the round 3. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 2. This chain tool own consider as our double crochet and into the same chain space we are going to work an increase so work 2 double crochet into the same chain space 
and place marker in top of the very first double crochet after completing the two double crochet into the next stitch we are going to work one double crochet and into the next front post double crochet we are going to work one front post double crochet so in this round this is the pattern two double crochet one double crochet and one front post double crochet now in the next chain we are going to work an increase that is two double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to work one double crochet and into the next front post double crochet we are going to work one front post double crochet so continue working the same pattern throughout the round 4 i will be meeting you in the end of the round 4 Now we are in the end of the round 4, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round continue working chain 2 and work 2 double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the first double crochet. This chain 2 won't consider as our double crochet. After placing marker work 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And into the next front post double crochet we are going to work a front post double crochet. So in this round the pattern is 2 double crochet and 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches and 1 front post double crochet. So work 2 double crochet increase into the next chain and 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. Now work one front post double crochet into the front post double crochet and work two double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next two stitches and one front post double crochet into the next front post double crochet. Like this continue working the same pattern throughout the round 5. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we are in the end of the round 5, remove marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round, start with the chain 2 and this chain on consider us so or double crochet into the same chain space work and increase so 2 double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the first double crochet. After placing the marker, work 1 double crochet into the next 3 stitches. And into the next front post double crochet we are going to work on one front post double crochet. So in this round the pattern is two double crochet and one double crochet into the next three stitches and one front post double crochet into the front post double crochet. So work two double crochet, one double crochet into the next three stitches and one front post double crochet into the front post double crochet. So I hope you understand the pattern. So continue working the same pattern throughout the round 6. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 6. Now we are in the end of the round 6. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In this round I am going to stop my increase. If you want a big size project 
you continue increasing for two or three more rounds so for the next round i am going to work a chain two and into the same chain space we are going to work two double crochet increase and into the very first chain we are going to place the marker and into the next five stitches we are going to work one double crochet so work one double crochet into the next five stitches in this round we are not going to work the front post double crochet So into the top of the front post double crochet we will be working one double crochet and into the next stitch that is sixth stitch we are going to work an increase two double crochet and into the next five stitches we are going to work one double crochet like this continue working one double crochet into the five stitches and into the sixth stitch work two double crochet increase. Now we are in the end of the round 7, remove the marker and walk a slip stitch. For the next round, start with the chain 2 and into the same chain space we are going to work an increase, so work 2 double crochet and into the first double crochet place the marker. Work 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. So into the next two stitches work one double crochet. After completing the double crochet, we are going to work one front post double crochet. So yarn over thrice and insert the hook into the front post double crochet of previous round that is round 7. Grab the yarn and pull through the front post double crochet come out of two loops again come out of two loops again come out of two loops now two loops will be left alone again yarn over thrice and insert the hook into the front post double crochet of round seven grab the yarn and pull through the front post double crochet come out of two loops again come out of two loops now come out of all three loops now we are going to skip one chain and into the next three chains work one double crochet after completing the double crochet into the next chain we are going to work an increase so work two double crochet increase Into the next two stitches work one double crochet. And now again yarn over three times. And insert the hook into the previous front post double crochet of round six. Come out of two loops. Again come out of two loops. Again come out of two loops. Two loops will be left alone. Again yarn over thrice and insert the hook into the front post double crochet. Grab the yarn and pull through the front post double crochet. Come out of two loops. Again come out of two loops. Now three loops in the hook. Come out of all three loops. Now skip the chain one and into the next three stitches work one double crochet. So in this round we are going to work the same pattern. After completing the three double crochet into the next stitch we are going to work an increase that is two double crochet again into the next two stitches we are going to work an one double crochet and again you, you want to work the front post double crochet into the next two post and skip one chain and into the next three stitches one double crochet like this continue working the same pattern throughout the round eight I will be meeting you in the end of the round eight.
now we have reached the end of the round 8 so now work one front post triple crochet into the last front post double crochet skip one chain and into the next three stitches work one double crochet After completing the double crochet, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 9, continue working chain 2 and into the same chain space work one double crochet and place the marker in top of the double crochet and work one double crochet into the next 3 stitches. And now we are going to work one front post double crochet into the both triple crochet. And again we are going to work one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So in this round continue working the same pattern. One double crochet in top of every double crochet. And also we are going to work one front post double crochet in the top of the front post double triple crochet Now we are in the end of the round 9. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round, continue by working a chain 2 and into the same chain space in the back loop work one half double crochet. So in this round we will be working in the back loops of each stitches. And place marker in top of the first half double crochet. And into the next stitch into the back loop or one half double crochet and into the next stitch continue working one half double crochet in the back loop so for the opening of the bag place marker leaving some chains so continue working the half double crochet we can place the marker for the opening of the bag So continue working the half double crochet into the back loops of each and every yarn till you reach the marker. Now we have reached the marker, remove the marker and work one half double crochet into the back loop. Now for the next round, work chain 2 and turn the work into the same chain space for one half double crochet and into the top of the half double crochet place marker continue working one half double crochet until you reach the next marker so for the next two rounds we are going to work one half double crochet all across the stitches now we have completed working two rounds of half double crochet if you wish you can increase the half double crochet round Similarly, work one more circle piece for the bag. So now we can join both the pieces. Place both wrong side facing outside. Now we can join using single crochet. For joining the bag, take the hook out of the loop and insert into the very first half double crochet. And pull the loop through the half double crochet. Now work chain 1 and turn the project. Work 1 single crochet into the same chain space. Insert the hook into the very first chain in both the circle. And work a single crochet. Now 
again insert the hook into the second chain in both the circle and work a single crochet like this continue working until you reach the last marker now we have completed our joining by working single crochet now make a chain one and cut the extra yarn turn the work weave in all the extra yarns for the handle choose five chains and place marker and we can insert the needle into the very first chain that we have chosen and work a chain one and one single crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the single crochet and into the next four stitches work one single crochet Now we have completed working our five single crochet, work chain three and turn the project. Now we are going to work in the back loop. So skip the very first chain and into the next four stitches work one double crochet in back loop. Again work chain three and turn the project. Skip one chain and into the next four stitches in back loop work one double crochet. Like this for the handle, continue working for your desired length. Now we have completed our strap. Now we can join in the next side. So select five chains, remove the marker, and through the chain pull the loop and work chain one, and turn the work and into the same chain space work one single crochet, and work one single crochet into the next four stitches. So we are going to join the handle by working single crochet. Now we have completed working our single crochet, work a chain on and cut the extra yarn and weave in all the extra yarns. Now we are in the end of our video. I hope you really like this bag. Very simple and elegant. Give it a try. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon. If you have any doubt, text me in the comment. Thanks for watching.